Well, good afternoon, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you all have a good time with me today, especially the caregivers. You're going to sing along with me and maybe learn some of these rhymes, and of course, drown me out as always. So here we go. We'll all sing the hello song together, okay? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Right, yeah. When you are with your friends, aren't you happier? Absolutely. Sometimes you don't feel up to it, but most of the time we're very happy. Well, let's see. Let's have a party, shall we? Let's go and see what's cooking down the street at the bakery, okay? And here's the baker man or the baker lady, okay? And she's selling something, hot cross buns. What do you think of that, huh? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If your daughters do not like them, Give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Come on, everybody. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If your daughters do not like them, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Yeah, two, two. <laughs> and there we are, one, two. Let's see what we got here. What do we have here? I've, I have a doggy that's gone. Oh, where, oh, where has my doggy gone? Oh, dear. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? You see him anywhere? Huh? Got a lot of animals here, but no dog. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? What is that sticky got on my coat? What is this? What is this? Is this my dog? It's my dog. Oh, you silly boy. You are a very silly boy. <clears throat> Well, Wizzy Wizard, do you have a tip for us today? I sure do. And it's for the caregivers. So anyway, it's, it's something that we all know, but sometimes we need to be reminded of it. When your children play, they often use other objects for something else. And a block to represent a telephone, for instance. <clears throat> this kind of symbolic play is the same type of thinking that allows them to understand that a picture or a written word represents a real thing. This is conceptual thinking, part of your child's background knowledge. Conceptual thinking, one object representing the real thing. Now I see a lot of animals, I see the alphabet. Oh, what a busy board this is. So we'll try to straighten it out. I have a big red apple, A for apple. And what's this? This is a lizard. This is a lizard, L for lizard. I for insects, here's an ant and a grasshopper. And they are called insects, right? What is this creature? He lives in the woods and he's a porcupine and he has spikes or needles up and down his back there. I have a bunny. I have a squirrel. I have a frog. Look, there he is up sitting on top of the F. I have a little kitten, right? A kitten and a blue jay. So there's the J and there's the B. And who is this fellow? He's an owl. And there is the O for owl. Can you make an O in your mouth? O, sure. Okay, let's see what kind of book this is. This book is as old as Granny Jean. 
And when I was a little girl, we never had colorful pictures in our books. They were always black and white, but they were still wonderful to read. And this is called The ABC Bunny by Wanda Gag. So we've got the ABCs up there and we have a lot of little friends, right? And there he is, the little ABC bunny. Let's bring him on over here. There we go. There he is. Oh, you can't see him too well. Oh, well. All right. And there is a song, but I'm not going to sing. A for apple, B, a big and red. B for bunny, snug in bed. Oh, there he is, snug in bed. Let's make him all snuggy. Where are you, bunny? There we are, snug in bed. Oh, the apple fell. C for crush. Oh, round bunny up. D for dash. E for elsewhere in a flash. There he goes. Woo. Did that scare him? Uh -huh. F for frog. He's fat and funny. There he is sitting up top there. Looks like rain, he said to Bunny. Ah, the wind is coming, right? G for gale. Oh, that's a strong wind. H for hail, ouch, ouch, that's hard, icy rain. Hippity hop goes bunny's tail, oh, let's get out of that. I for insects, here and there. J for J with jaunty air. And there's the blue J up there. You see him over, over the book there? K for kitten, catnip crazy, little kitty. L for lizard, look how lazy. Did we see a lizard, huh? Where's Granny Jean's lizard? Here, here he is. He lazy, whoop, he just ran away. <laughs> M for mealtime, munch, munch, munch. Mmm, these greens are good for lunch. And for napping in a nook. Oh, for owl with bookish looks. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Great big eyes. P for prickly porcupine. Pins and needles on his spine. There he is. Don't try to pick me up, he says. Q for quail, R for rail, S for squirrel, squill, uh, squishy tail, right? There's a little squirrel. And we have a squirrel right there, right? Next to Mr. Porcupine. T for a tripping back to town. U for up and upside down. Right. V for view and valley too, the valley. W, we welcome you. <clears throat> X for exit off the way. That's enough for us today. There he goes down in his little rabbit hole. Y for you, take one last look. Z for zero, close the book. ABC Bunny by Wanda Gag. Okay, so we had insects, we had an apple, we had a porcupine and a bunny and an owl and a squirrel. We'll take them all and put them over here, out of the way, because we want to see the alphabet, right? Yeah. Can you help me sing the ABC song? Oh, here's the A, A for apple. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Will you sing with me next time? Come on. You can clap. How about that? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Well, look who's here. We have a little pig pig from Arkansas. Where is Arkansas? Well, that's part of the United States, and it is a state in the south, southwest, in the Midwest, really, I suppose. South Midwest. Next to Oklahoma. How's that? The little pink pig from Arkansas danced a jig with his mother-in-law. She wore silk, but he wore straw. The little pink pig from Arkansas. Jack Prolutsky poem. Come on. You can clap to this. It's a good clapper. The little pink pig from Arkansas danced a jig with his mother-in-law. She wore silk, but he wore straw. The little pink pig from Arkansas. You know, Arkansas begins with an A. Arkansas. Yes. <laughs> Well, what do we have here? Looks like the nighttime, doesn't it? Oh, is it nighttime? Look at that. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. Where she was going, I could not but ask it, for in her hands she held a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, where are you going to up so high? sweep the cobwebs from the sky. May I go with you? Oh, I, by and by. Well, let's do that one again. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. Where she was going, I could not but ask it, for in her hands she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, where are you going to up so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky. May I go with you? Hi, by and by. I think that's to help us get to sleep at night. And then when we go to sleep, then that's when we go and help her sweep the cobwebs. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Just a thought. Well, are you pretty happy? Huh? I hope so. And this is by David A. Carter. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Can you do this with me? Okay. Let's do this with, with Granny Jean. I can't do it because I'm going to be holding the book, but you can do it. And maybe your, your uh, nannies and your mommies will help. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That little kitty clapping her hands, huh? Oh, well, if you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. Where's your tail? If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. Well, if you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Where's your head? Huh? Can you pat your head? Oh, like that. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Little Miss Skunk is patting her head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Boop, boop. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. And what is that chicken doing? 
she's flapping her wings. And if you're happy and you know it, wink your eyes. Winking is harder than blinking. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eyes. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, wink your eye. That's one eye at a time. Look at that owl. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. Woo, where are your toes? Yeah, the Mr. Mouse found it. <clears throat> so I found them. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. Broop, broop. Ah, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Look at all those creatures. They look pretty happy to me. What do you think? Hmm? Well, let's see what we've got here. I'm going to take the alphabet down very carefully. Pull the T down, the frog down, and everything else, too. Mm -hmm. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but let's put this back up. Shall we? And we'll put up some color there so we can see my black hen. Peckety peckety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Look at that. Look at all those eggs. So here we go. Heckety peckety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my fine hen does lay. Sometimes nine and sometimes ten. Peckety peckety, my black hen. So come on, let's everybody do that. Here we go. Peckety peckety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my fine hen doth lay. Sometimes nine and sometimes what? Ten. Peckety peckety, my black hen. Good job, peckety. Good job. Well, my last book today is Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. <clears throat> and it's about a goose. And I wonder if you can see where the goose is. You know where the goose is, huh? <clears throat> well, there's her goose. She has three of them there. Where's goose? Cows in the pasture. Roosters in the barnyard. See where goose is? See if you can find goose each time I turn the page. Hens in the hen house. Pigs in the wallow. Muck, muck, muck. But where's Goose? She's there. Here. Kittens in the hayloft. Where's Goose? Pigeons in the rafters. My fingers covering the goose. There she is. Mice in the grain bin. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Peacock in the wire pen. Shriek, shriek, shriek. But where is goose? You see her? She's hiding. Donkeys in the paddock. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. You see where Goose is? 
crows in the cornfield. Caw, caw, caw. The goose is hard to find in that picture. Look at those orange beaks there. I'd rather beak. That's Crickets in the snow, stone wall. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Frogs in the farm pond. Burp, burp, burp. But where's Goose? Let's try to catch that butterfly. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Shriek, shriek, shriek. But where's Goose? There's Goose. Honk, honk, honk. Oh, they're loud. They are loud and they're a big bird too. And folks, that, that's the rooster, right? That's the daddy chicken. Rooster, he struts. Well, my goodness me. I see that we have the sky. I think we have a moon, too. What do you think of that? And look at this. There's a man up there on the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his nose was a green pickle, a green pickle, a green pickle. His nose was a green pickle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his eyes were made of fried eggs, fried eggs, fried eggs. His eyes were made of fried eggs, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his ears were made of oranges, oranges, oranges. His ears were made of oranges. And his name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle. And his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was made of a red pepper, a pepper, a pepper. His mouth was made of a red pepper. And his name was Aiken Drum. And his hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. What is a ladle? A ladle is a dipper, right? And actually, there's some stars in a formation of a dipper or a ladle, right? Well, let's see what we've got here. We have almost the end of our program but i see a sun and actually the sun peeks out every once in a while today too so here we are look at that big sun hey goose up there you <clears throat> you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my moonshine, my only moonshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my moonshine away. You are my star shine, my only star shine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my star shine 
away. There we go. And one last one. Whoops. The falling star. Whoops. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day. Well, I think it's time for our, our bye bye song. So let's say goodbye to the old lady. Bye bye to the old lady in the basket. And bye bye to old Henny Penny here. Peckety peckety, huh? Bye bye to Granny Jean. It's time to say goodbye. And bye bye to the little pig from Arkansas. And uh, bye bye to the bunny in ABC Bunny. Hmm? And bye bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye bye, everyone. I hope we had a good time today. <laughs>